Did you know that you can edit your images inside of Dolly 3 now? So OpenAI released a new update and we are now able to paint over an area and replace the image inside of ChatGPT. This is called Impainting and it's about time we get to play around with this feature. To try it out click on the Explore GPTs button here on the left and then choose Dolly 3 by OpenAI. Let's not waste any time and dive right in. I'll start by generating an image of a bear and if it looks good we'll do some impainting and edit some parts of our image. Let's write generate an image of a bear in the style of acrylic paint, old strokes. So if you don't already know by now, Dolly 3 enables you to create images based on your descriptions. You can write whatever you want, in our case we're waiting for an image of a bear to be generated and here we go. We got two images, both of them look great. I will go with this one here, depicting a bear in the woods next to a running river. Now before this update, if we didn't like an image that Dolly had generated, we had to write a new description to get a new image from scratch. The problem with that is you'll get new images with strong variations every time, compared to the images you started with. This is really annoying because when you get a great image and you only need to make a few minor adjustments to it, it doesn't really work. So now we can click on this brush icon up here and select an area and tell ChatGPT what to adjust. So you can also adjust the brush size over here for more control over your selections. It says highlight the area and describe changes in the chat. This is quite interesting, it's not the same as MeJourney or some of these other AI image generators. Here we have something to talk to in the chat and it replies to you as well as generating the images. So let's write add a red hat. I will fast forward this part for the sake of the video and this is what we got. It added a small round hat on top of the bear's head. Great! Now we can select the same area again with the brush tool if we want to get other variations or add something different. I like this red hat here so let's move on to something a bit more challenging. Maybe you'll figure out what's next just by the selection. I'll select this area here and this time let's say add a golden chain and to make it more challenging let's add something random like with the flag of Germany. I don't know why I chose that but let's see what we get. So when you use in painting the new image loads a bit faster compared to when generating an entirely new image. It might be because the AI model only works with a portion of the original image. I don't really know but I have noticed that even when I use the generative fill AI feature in Photoshop and select a big area compared to a smaller selection. Here we go. Our bear is rocking a big golden chain now. I love how it turned out and it's funny with the red hat. ChatGPT adds some replies together with the images and it adds another layer to it. Here it says the bear now proudly wears a golden chain with a pendant featuring the flag of Germany alongside its vibrant red hat. Now I don't see the Germany flag but if we zoom in I see something that resembles a bird. Maybe this image here is what it tried to do, I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. In my opinion this looks like the beginning of a good image for a meme. I want to make a few more adjustments to this image. I want to add a fish in its paw or claws. Let's select this part here and write grabbing a fish in its claws. Now this is a small problem with the AI models for now. So we got this image here and it hasn't added the fish to the image. But ChatGPT thinks that Dolly has done that. So it says now the bear is depicted in a dynamic pose successfully capturing a fish in its claws still adorned with the red hat and chain. But we don't have any fish in the image. So we're gonna treat it just like how we treat ChatGPT when it fails. We try again. You try again in the spring, all right. This time let's select a bigger area and include both of the paws. And this is what we got now. The fish is there and I used the same instructions and only changed the area I selected. So make sure to not give up on your first try if you're trying to make an adjustment or add something to your images. And you don't need to get the best results immediately. I went on and added a cozy cabin to the side of the river and put some cool sunglasses on our bear. Now another thing I noticed while adding the sunglasses was that you can go back and make an adjustment to an earlier version of your image. So if I wanted to add the sunglasses to our bear in the version without the cozy cabin, I could go back in the chat history and select the image without the cabin and adjust that one. Another thing you can do is to remove things. So in this case we could remove the cabin after adding the sunglasses to our bear. 
For this example, I like the cabin how it is, so instead, let's remove the fallen branches and roots in the front part of our image. For the last part, I will show you how to properly write and describe your instructions to Dolly 3 to get the best out of this new feature. And now, we got this image here. So for the last part, I want to add a wooden basket filled with fish in the left bottom corner of the image. I tried two times to finally generate a basket filled with fish. Here is a quick comparison between the different selections and instructions I wrote to Dolly to get the desired result. So in the first try I selected the bottom left area and wrote wooden basket filled with fish and got more of the river instead. On the second try I expanded and selected a bit more and wrote a longer instruction instead. I was more specific and repeated keywords to add weight to its importance of being in the image. Here is the entire instruction I wrote in both cases. I don't know why I wrote fishes, even though it's one fish, two fish. With that said, make sure you select bigger areas, it also helps to guide the AI. In our case, we targeted around the neck for the gold chain and not the entire head of the bear. The third tip is to be specific in your descriptions and write longer instructions. Dolly is still the best AI image model at following descriptions, one downside is it lacks somewhat in style variety. Prompting with Dolly works differently compared to the other AI models and it's a futuristic experience to have a conversation with instructions instead of prompting with keywords. I am really looking forward to the day I can try out something similar with the Sora model and create longer video segments with basic language and simple instructions. Now don't forget to subscribe to support this channel and thank you for watching. Bye.